Hello YouTubers, this is DJ Blink Blink. So this video is just a short video of how to use the new Serato DJ Pro. Basically, how to use the practice mode to mix, how to increase and reduce the BPM, all the tricks I've just found out by using it. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is Serato DJ Pro, as you can see from the screen. And what I'll just mention here is when I downloaded Serato DJ Pro, I had to put in my login details not to use Serato DJ Pro itself, but to get access to my expansion packs. So if you have expansion packs and some extras on your Serato DJ already, just make sure you remember where your login details are. You may need it. So let's go straight in. You can see one and two on the left hand side here. So one is just the normal offline mode that we use normally where we load in tracks, and then we edit the grid and do whatever I want to do, all right? Now, if you press two, okay, you see we have two decks instantly, which means we can load another track on the right-hand side. This is the practice mode. This is what we are here for exactly. What you can also notice instantly on the screen is you have the crossfader that you use on your mixer to go to the left and go to the right. You also have um, volume controls that you can control on the left and for the right for deck number one and deck number two and then for those that use sync you have sync also that you can use now you can see the bpms you can increase the bpms you see bringing it up put your mouse there go up bring it down all right it increases the bpm and brings it down also for both the left and the right you can do the same thing for both of them now what you should also know is if you click on this side on help and you click on show two tips if you bring your mouse to any of the sections there you have an idea where you can do and instructions on what to do okay so let's deactivate that now i've also put my keypad here so you can have an idea what i'm pressing on my keypad when i'm pressing stuff on it all right so to start the left hand side which is deck number one just press your space bar and to play the right hand side which is deck number two just press enter Okay, so that's it. You can activate both the left and the right hand side easily by pressing spacebar for the left and then enter for the right. What you should also notice, if you want to kick in for the left hand side, you need to press W for whiskey. And if you want to kick in for the right hand side, you, play, you press S for Sierra. Now, if you press show two tips here, you can see the instructions for play. Action for the left, play is W for whiskey and spacebar. And then for the right is S for Sierra and enter okay so let's deactivate that now we're going to go in depth into it now so let's play the left hand deck press space let's sync it up so let's imagine we're practicing and let's now try to bring in the right hand side okay you see so you can you can have an idea how your music is going to be all right so so I just go to the left. So we are strictly for the left now. And then strictly for the right. And if you want to stop the right hand side, press enter. If you want to stop the left hand side, press space bar. So now one other thing also is if you go into settings here, all right, and you click on performance pad queue layout, that brings the layout of your keypads like you say one two three four five whatever you've named them if you've named these as anything on your controller that's where it's going to come up as all right you see all it's more detailed and also one good thing also if you click on high res screen display all right you see if you have a high resolution laptop especially for those that have like the retina display laptops then it will be more vivid for the screen itself. So yeah, to be honest, Serato has really, they've done really well with this stuff. These are most of the things you will see on other softwares already, but it's good that we have this situation where you can do the, use the practice mode, you know, practice how your songs will go and do various things you want to do. You could be going down to a gig or you'll be going to a friend's house or you're even on the train, you know, just, just play something, even just in your bedroom, you can have an idea how your mix is going to be. Okay, so that's Serato DJ Pro in summary. Um, my own personal opinion, I'm loving it. I've been using it now for two days. I've not had any issues with it at all. Um, the major advantage is the practice mode, which means basically you can use your laptop anywhere with your Serato DJ Pro 
without bothering connecting to your mixer and stuff now one thing you should know is if you're coming from serato dj to serato dj pro it is free you don't need to pay anything extra you just download the software and that's it it's free completely free now the major advantage with serato dj pro as i pointed out is the practice mode so you could be going out going to your friend's place you could be on a train journey going down to a gig you could be at home and then you just you know turn on your laptop open up your serato dj pro you don't need to connect your mixer or anything and you can mix songs together and have an idea how the songs can be so yeah it is a very 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 lovely upgrade and you know thumbs up to serato themselves so this is dj blink blink subscribe to my channel like my videos and that's me signing out see you guys there man cheers I got brides in Atlanta, just took me in the family, credit cards and the scams, hitting the licks in the band, legacies.